I don't give a fuck, y'all can suck my dick I'm making pesetas while they're talking, talking shit Nah, I don't give a fuck, don't waste my time for this Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm your game shark back with another video. So in this video, I'm going to talk about that. How did I break my Poco F1 device? How did I get it repaired and how much this cost me up? So it was just another normal day. I was flashing a custom room, which is HN and room. And I always do a clean flash while wiping a Dalvik care system, detain window partition and flash the room in TFP. I did the exact same process which I do with other rooms and the phone got rebooted successfully and then immediately my phone got shut down. First I thought that there was no power in my phone so let it charge up. So then I tried to reboot it wasn't responding up to fast boot mode or recovery mode. Then I visited the service center then they said directly that you need to get your motherboard replaced. So there I refused them and said them to give my device back. Then I got a guy from Russia who sent me to do a EDL flash done. So then this is my phone. I got my back cover removed and let me show you guys what is the EDL mode. Here is a charging connector you just need to remove this and here you can see these are the two points which you can see the small points over here. You just need to flash those two points and connect your phone through USB. So this driver is called as Qualcomm 9006 which got directed successfully in my device. So I don't know what was the reason then I said him to get an EDL flash done which he asked for $20. First I said him that I wouldn't pay you. So first he said me that uh, give me some proof so that I can trust you then I showed him my YouTube channel. So that he said okay I trust you then he connected my PC through his uh, any desk. So then he tried to flash my phone through EDL mode then the phone was flashing but there is an error occurred saying that your device failed to load information. So then he said me that there's some problem with your UFS memory chipset which is called as power IC chip. So this is the chip which caused the problem. This is called as the power IC chip. So whenever you try to charge a phone this chip would get heated very badly. So he said me to get this chip replaced. So I visited many shops asking them that can you replace this chip. So then one guy accepted then he asked for 3000 rupees to repair my motherboard. So I thought to think about it then I came back home then I saw a few ads in OLX so I got a phone with an on condition for 4000 rupees so this was just a broken display of his phone and all the parts and the phone was in working condition so then I contacted him up and I paid him first then I got my phone at approximately 3 days so then I took his motherboard out and then I replaced it in my phone and now it's working properly and here is his phone the battery the camera the front camera the speakers the charging port everything is working perfectly fine even the display is working perfectly fine only the screen is cracked the lcd is working perfectly fine so i've just kept this phone for my spare so i would just sell it out or if anyone wants this phone you can just contact me on telegram i put the telegram user link in the description if anyone wants this phone you can just take it just use it as your spares or just just leave it like that or else i can use it as my spares if there's anything problem with my camera or battery you can just replace it out so this is my phone here i've got it repaired successfully and yep this cost me around 4000 rupees and motherboard cost replacement is approximately 12,000 rupees in service center so that I refused them directly I said them that no I wouldn't get my motherboard replaced I would get a new phone instead of that for 15,000 itself so yep I got this phone in OLX and this one I've kept for sale like there are almost all the parts available except the motherboard is not in the working condition so here I've got my Poco F1 back and I would say that please be careful while flashing these type of custom rooms although after unlocking your bootloader everything is upon your risk because Xiaomi has said that unlocking your bootloader is at your own risk although if your phone is under warranty you can claim the warranty but if you are not under warranty then you need to spend a few bucks to get it repaired so I reply to a few people saying that flashing bad custom rooms or bad kernels might cause this break I would say again that this is all upon your risk and I have said my problem how did this occur up. So also here I have made a new telegram group channel for YouTube Gameshark here you can join there are almost 100 people joined here I have put the link in the description. 
So here you'll get all the notifications like whatever I upload on daily basis and from now I wouldn't upload on daily basis like already I have had a huge experience flashing custom rooms I've almost flashed almost like 100 rooms and for you guys so take care and I'll see you guys in our next video until then bye bye